מוני יוסף שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. מוני, you are the director of the ACO Theater Center. Yes. And also the artistic director of the wonderful ACO Festival for Alternative Israeli Theater. Yes, yes, yes. And thank you for hosting us in your office. We can see the walls of Accra behind you. How did it all start? It started in uh, Accra Theater Center, was founded in uh, 85. A group of uh, artists from the center came to Accra because of the Accra Festival. And... Uh, We start to develop a, a new Israeli theater language and we come with a group of uh, artists and uh, we work in Akko in the old hospital of uh, mentality uh, mental patients mental, as you say and uh, so it's very suitable yes <laughs> very creative we just change the <laughs> the people <laughs> good energies yeah very good energies. And uh, from then, from since uh, 85, we work here and uh, we create our theater and it's more than a theater, it's a house, it's a family. And I must say that it uh, gained wonderful reputation in Israel and I know it's not easy to compete with uh, the mainstream uh, theater, Abima, yes, Kamari yes. and others, but you have managed, you have managed yes. to do it and your festival The one you are uh, the artistic director of has gained not only an Israeli reputation, an international reputation. Also the theater. I think this is the thing that also the theater, we are uh, one of the theaters that performs in uh, broad more than in any other theaters. Uh, we work in Japan, in Singapore, Philippines, Europe. Uh, I direct in Japan. I, I did a project before two years, now I'm going to do another project there. And, but the reason is the, the new language that, that we developed. When you, are saying, when you are saying new language, are you referring to what we fondly call fringe? Yeah, I don't know. I still, uh, until, uh, I still now don't know what is fringe. Uh -huh. I know it's my theater. My theater, uh, it's different than the, the conventional theater. Our language is first we break the wall between the audience and the artist. The audience is part of the, of the piece. Physical uh, location. Physical, yes. And also we speak with the audience. We talk with the audience. Interactive. Completely. And we work with uh, private materials. Uh, so, uh, because if say that we say that the, the artist is in the... in the main, okay, in the, in the middle. And around, there is circle, circles around the, the, the artist. First is, which family you come from? Uh, how the family affect your life? Uh, second is the neighborhood. How the neighborhood uh, affect your life? Then there is the society. Then there is the me and the world, like a Jewish. And all these things make the, the materials of our work. Very complex. Yes. Like uh, peeling an onion, all the layers. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, thanks God, we have a lot of materials in Israel. You know, it's like a Jewish, Arabs, uh, Sephardi, Ashkenaz, uh, Orthodox, Unorthodox. And looking back, because you have been working with the most talented Israeli actors and actresses and uh, playwriter, playwriters and uh, directors who, maybe it's an unfair question, so I, so I apologize in advance, mm -hmm. if you can name the people who during the years have impressed you most with their talent and with their creativity. Mm -hmm. In Akko we have one of the talented uh, actresses in the world, it's Smadar Yaron. She's really one of the best of the best and uh, she gets a lot of prizes all over the world when we perform there. And she's the, one of the totalic actresses that uh, you ever met. 
She's amazing. If we, co- if we compare her to legendary figures, you will compare it to Hannah Robina? No. No. Not at all. Because uh, Smadar, uh, she created the, the performance by herself. Not from a text, not a book, not like this. Okay. And uh, she also doing like a physical work, amazing one. Uh, she had a, a beautiful performance about uh, Wish Upon a Star that we did it together with uh, the Berlin uh, Festspiel in a co-production. She did Arbeit Macht Frei, the famous performance of, uh, of Akko that a lot of mu- movies and prizes get this performance. And she's really a special uh, creator. She's not an ex, she's a creator. So she's the first lady of the... Of the theater. Arco Theater? Yes. So this is one name. Yes. And when it comes to male actors or to play writers... In Arco, we, we are not used to work with play writers. Uh, the actor, the artist, create his text, uh, create his clothes, create everything. And the director is like a conductor. Of, a, yeah. of an orchestra. Yes. Uh-huh. Kind of. And uh, sometimes we work on a performance like three years. We collect materials. Wow. Uh, from books, from movies, from meeting people. Uh, if, if you will take, like, example, the Arbeit Macht Frei, this performance, it's like uh, a lot of doc, doc, uh, uh, doctorate, doctorate works. I call it doctorate works, I call it. I call it doctorate. PhD. PhD. A lot of people did about this performance, and it was ah, m- academic works. Yeah, yeah, about this performance. Yes, and uh, reviewing and analyzing. Yes, this play. Yes, 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 and uh, because it was really one of the unique uh, uh, artistic work that done in the I think in the last uh, thirty years, and uh, it was a totalic work about the influence of the Holocaust. On our the generation, the second generation, because we get the Holocaust to our blood from uh, the moment that uh, we see the, the first time this uh, light of the world, and how uh, it's influenced our life. So we collect materials. We we met a lot of survivors, a lot of movies about the, the Holocaust, and then the director of this uh, performance was David Bayan, one of the talented uh, directors that work in uh, in Israel. I remember from the last uh, festival, last uh, Sukkot, yes. a very interesting uh, play. It's about an imaginary meeting between uh, Hitler, Hitler and, and Herzl. Herzl. And this was, I must say, an unbelievable experience. First of all, it was very long. Yes. What was impressive, not only, I'm not, I'm not only talking about the reaction of the audience that as you described, sits basically on, on a stage, yes. on stage, yes. he's part of the show. But what was amazing, in addition for it being long and deep and wonderfully played, by the way, the dialogues, the monologues, how on earth could they remember all this for two hours? <laughs> Arbat Mahfad was five hours performance. Really? Five hours. <laughs> It's something that surprised me every time. Uh, I'm going to remember text. I also am uh, an actor also. It's like, and in one of my bad dreams, it is sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night that I... Forget uh, the text. Yes, I forget <laughs> the text. So you improvise. Yes. Yes, improvisation is part of your new language. Yes, this is one of the reasons that maybe we developed this language. Moni, uh, do you think that the new language you have developed yes. throughout the years is being adapted by other theaters, either in Israel, maybe abroad? Yes, we, see, we saw now this, uh, I, I saw this language in the last five years in festival. And people say that we influence from Apo Theater Center. It's okay. We don't have a problem with this. And, but because uh, in the time, of this, uh, the time of the TV, the TV that uh, get inside to your private life, this reality, is, uh, to surprise the audience is very hard. Very difficult. It's becoming more and more difficult. Yes. When you use uh, something in the times of the Piguim, the... Terror attacks. Terror, yes. 
you saw bodies, you saw part of the bodies, it's right. blood, and like, wow, how you can shock the people more? How, how can you compete with the reality? Yes. And the only thing is to work with the, like, to, 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 to develop this new language of theater that make, to, to bring the audience to be really part of the performance. That you get 100% of the performance. And it's work. Very direct. A very direct very, approach. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. When you look ahead, what do you see? What would you like to see for the theater, for the mm-hmm. festival? Uh, I really, like in the festival, I really look uh, uh, for a new uh, directors that develop a new language and uh, that really work with the situation of the society, that really care about the situation in the world. And we have a lot of things in the world now. It's like all the thing of... Uh, Uh, what's happening in Israel, what's happening in the world, Iran, Syria. Our neighbors. Yes. It's unbelievable. Yes, it's amazing. So, so for you it's very important to remain connected to what's happening. Yes. And to draw the right conclusions or to make yes. people think. And what do you think of the, our theater? If you, if you will see our performance today and see tomorrow, it's not the same performance. If we, even if it's the same uh, title. Because we put inside of the performance the news of the day, of today. Constantly updated? Yes, completely. Wow. And, uh, Part of your philosophy. And you cannot run away from the performance. It's a uh, run after you. Mm-hmm. So we put you inside. You cannot like, ignore what's happening around. And in Israel you have a lot of news. A lot. Too, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> But not just in Israel, you see. Wonderful. Moni, we want to thank you very much for this. Welcome. Wish uh, both the theater and the festival uh, to continue being so important, not only for Israeli culture, but also for the international yes. culture. And basically, everything that you wish yourself. Thank you very much. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.